In this video, Kevin and I are going to be talking about the TV shows and movies that we watched during the month of January. So, the first movie that we watched was on New Year's Eve, actually. So, uh, what, December 31st, uh, we watched a movie. And uh, so, do you remember what it was? It was made in 1972. The Poseidon Adventure. Uh, so I remember watching the Poseidon. I didn't remember when we watched. We it. watched it on New Year's Eve. That's right, because it happened on New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. In the beginning of the movie, and I didn't even realize that. They, they used a Christmas tree, so it's kind of it seems like it's at Christmas, but it's not. Yes, there's a Christmas tree in the movie, and I remember this movie. It seemed like as a kid, they were constantly playing this movie. Like you could catch bits and pieces of it on a random yeah, Saturday afternoon time. or Sunday during your childhood. It's like this was always on TV. Yeah, it seemed so, like it was the big movie to watch um, on the, yeah, during the 80s. <laughs> yeah, the Poseidon Avenger. So, um, so I never realized, I, I don't know that I ever caught the very beginning of the movie as a kid where it said this happened on New Year's Eve. So we were watching it on New Year's Eve, which was funny. Uh, the second thing was funny that it was made the year I was born, which was 1972. But what I, I took notes on was Shelly Winters. Shelly Winters, if you're watching this movie, she plays an elderly woman in this movie. Um, she's supposed to be elderly. That's fine. And yes, they make you think that she's just this you would overweight. You think she was like 600 pounds or something. The way that they huge. treat her, the way yeah. that they treat her, and the way that she talks about herself in mm -hmm. the movie, you think, oh, this is this old, terribly overweight person. Yeah. Well, first I'm going before her. She'll never fit through that hole. Oh, it was <laughs> horrible. Like yes, it's, it's, like, it's the what? things that they say. It's like, who says this oh, stuff? That's hilarious. So first of all, the woman wasn't overweight at all. No. She was a completely normal I mean, she was heavier size. than these scrawny other scrawny women, but she, she wasn't, wasn't heavy. Yeah, though. she wasn't twiggy, but she, you know, she wasn't a size four, but she was probably a size, I, if I had to guess, she was probably a size 14. She, completely normal size. Mm -hmm. um, for I mean, that's your normal size. Also, she was 52 years old. <laughs> <laughs> 52 years old and they're making her out to be this like elderly she's ancient, can't move or anything yeah and it's hilarious. like oh my gosh like she can't get it's up like, ladders you're never gonna be able to climb those stairs and yeah it's like, like oh really? my gosh so anyway we just hilarious. it was worth watching i thought it, it was, was really good oh yeah i've always enjoyed mm -hmm. it and it's one of those typical disaster movies which like one thing happens after the other you if know. you've seen titanic before if you're too young to have ever seen the Poseidon adventure the Poseidon Adventure is worth your time. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of based on the Titanic, not really, but it just a it's an it's a disaster movie. It's a disaster in, movie in, like that at the sea. The ship's going down, yeah. and these people are trying to survive, <coughs> and it's absolutely worth watching. Yeah, they do. They did a good job on it. I thought they especially did a good for the seventies. Yes. So then we also watched uh, the Hunger Games, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Definitely well, worth a watch. Absolutely. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll really, if you watched, if you liked all the other Hunger Games, which watching that one made me want to go watch those again. Yes, um, it, absolutely. The, if you like those, I think you'll like this because it's shot in a similar way. Yes, and and uh, the main guy, I don't know uh, who he is, what he's played in, or whatever. But at first, Snow, the young version of Snow. Yes. Yeah. So it, I'll read it to you. It says Cornelia Snow mentors and develops feelings for the female District 12 tribute during the 10th Hunger Games. That's what it says on Internet Movie Database. And if you've ever uh, read the books, the Hunger Games, this is the movie. This is uh, about the. It, this came before. Yeah. This, um, it's really about Snow. And, yes. And how he kind of, well, what kind of person he was, and and all that stuff yes so. so they when when the movie starts out his hair is a little bit longer it's a little shaggier and i didn't think much of his looks at that point but then during the movie he gets like a, a, buzz, a cut. buzz cut and i thought uh-huh he's a good looking guy but that's a good looking boy yes he i don't know what all who he is or what he's been in don't know anything about it but he's a good looking kid mm -hmm. yeah, yeah he really is yeah the wavy kind of hair didn't 
It didn't, didn't do suit him it. Good. Didn't, no, it didn't suit him. But when he got that buzz cut, that I thought good. he's good looking. Um, but it was um, it was a really good movie. Yeah, I, I liked it. Uh, then we watched the movie Migration. So Migration is like a Universal Studios movie. It's from twenty twenty three. Group. Yes. Uh, Elimination or whatever. Yes. Uh, it says a family of ducks try to convince their overprotective father to go on the vacation of a lifetime. So it's it's literally about these ducks and they've always stayed in the same spot and they see the other uh, uh, birds migrating and, and so they're like, why don't we ever go anywhere? And it's because the dad, is, scared. he's scared. He's yeah. scared to go anywhere. So they finally leave their their cozy, safe pond, and they all kinds of adventures. Yeah, adventures. And it's an it's an it's animated cute. baby. It's a cute movie. I do have to say, if you have little, little, little kids, there's like some like there's like some themes in there that I would say are kind of adult. Like could be kind of a little scary, I guess, for a little kid, really, really young. Um, so. Yeah, I don't want to give anything away, but I thought it was great. Yeah, I thought it was cute. I would watch it again. Yeah. Um, then I watched the movie Wish, Disney Wish. I watched it with the grandkids. They came over here, and it's 2023. I was yes, and and you can rent this. It's a young girl named Asha wishes on a star and gets a more direct answer than she bargained for when a troublemaking star comes down from the sky to join her. And I really don't think that description does the movie Works well. Just well, it doesn't do it justice. <laughs> Um, it's really cute. The star they're talking about is adorable. As a matter of fact, Gavin and Amelia were saying, I want one of those. I want one of those stars. Um, the music, um, when it first started out, I was thinking, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. And then by the time you get to like the third song, well, Gavin said, oh, another song. And I said, Gavin, it's a Disney movie. All Disney movies are musicals. You're gonna hear music throughout. And I said, it doesn't last long. And he was fine, but it didn't dawn on him that there were gonna be all these breaks for music, you know? Um, but like by the third song, I was like, oh, this is really good music. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Totally worth watching. I would watch it again with Kevin. I didn't realize how good it was gonna yeah. be. Um, so, the uh, we have watched the traders we watched the whole season of canada and then we watched the whole uk season and now we are currently watching the america the usa uh, the traders usa or america or whatever they call US it yeah whatever. we're watching that now mm -hmm. I so, think it's just called the traders <laughs> the one it's funny because the, the one in canada they have this girl on there, this this woman, and she is the host of the show. Just like if you watch the one here, it's Alan Cummings, I think is his last name. Um, they dress her up in these costumes, and she looks like Ridiculous. a total clown. Even yeah. Jennifer said that. She's like, what's with the outfits? One of the outfits, she had this huge bow around her neck, and it was like literally this big. Yeah, she's it like, was, what's with the outfits they put her in? Well, they do the same thing on the U.S. A version with Alan. Yeah, he gets a little ridiculous. It's too. almost like... It's almost comical. It's, yes, like they're trying to make this show, it's like more about him and what outfit is he going to come out in than the traitors, and it's supposed to be, you know, this, it's a reality competition competition show is what it is. The best version is the UK version. We like the UK version. Well, the hostess of that is very... Um, Her name is Claudia. Yeah, she's very... I mean, I won't say she's normal because she looks like Alice Cooper makeup on her face. She does. Her makeup she's is very just goth like looking, Alice Cooper. But yes. dark black makeup around her eyes and mm -hmm. stuff. But she seems so um, caring caring and wholesome. And she really gets into these people. I mean, she'll sit there and scream at them. You gotta hurry up. She and, cares about them. I mean, she really wants them to succeed in this stuff. Whereas the rest of them are like... Whatever, you know, it's like they're and they're reading, putting on a character, like, you know. Like, they're reading the lines, and they're putting on... A show. A show, 
and it, it, it comes across as they don't really care about what happens to the contestants. Right. Well, she gets so worked up and wrapped up into them. She's out there rooting for them and yelling at them. And, and the and the uh, the UK version is so much more real with real people, mm -hmm. whereas the version you're seeing in the in the USA, they have chosen these Tall people. Yeah, and the women, the women cannot come on without like a total, like the makeup is like, oh my gosh, it's like you're not seeing real people on the show and the USA version. Yeah, I don't whereas, know why they don't do real people. Whereas the U UK version, it's real people and frankly, I would rather see the real yeah, people. I would much rather see, I mean, yeah, throw in a celebrity here and there. Mm -hmm. We don't have all celebrities on there. Right, because, to where they have to bring their whole glam squad to put know, their makeup well, on. It's and, just like... Really? And two, a lot of the celebrities, they know each other or they've been in the same circles together. So they kind of, mm -hmm. they're kind of familiar with how yes. they operate and how they act. And then they'll say things like, well, you 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 are not acting like I know you outside this house, which yes. I don't think is right. No. Because it, it gives away, um, you know, information that they may not need and, or wouldn't have had if they were complete strangers. Going right. There. And so, one of the traitors this season is she's really good friends with someone who is a uh, a faithful. So she has made it very, very clear that her friend is not going to be voted off on her watch. Well, that's not fair. Yeah, she's a traitor. And she's, she's saying... She's a traitor, yeah. and she's saying, you're not going to vote her off. We're not voting We're her not off. We're not killing her off. Because she's my friend. That's not right. That's a conflict of interest. Yeah, if you're a traitor, that should not you're happen. willing to sacrifice anybody. Yes, that should not happen. Another big issue that we have, honestly, this is with all the traitor shows, is when they, at the very, very beginning, when they set everybody around at the round table, and the host, it doesn't matter who it is, is picking people, Yeah. they need to have something in their ears. Yeah, listen to music or something. They need to be listening to music because... Because they listen while they're walking. They walk around mm -hmm. in this round table yes. and they'll touch a shoulder mm -hmm. to indicate that they're there. And one person said, you said that that one girl said that the outfit that the person was wearing, you could hear like the, the sound Tamara, of the arm going Tamara Judge, yeah. Tamara Judge on the USA version, she, if you notice in that first episode when Alan is picking the people, he's wearing a very starched looking outfit and it's like bedazzled or bejeweled or whatever you want to say. And she said that she could hear him rustling next to her when he picked Dan. She said, I heard him. I, and she said, next time, don't put so much starch in your clothes because she heard that. And so she said, I was suspicious of Dan from the get go. And so we're not giving anything away by telling them. You know that the first episode. Yeah, but I'm just saying they need to have something in your, their yeah, ears. Yeah, I don't on understand all why. The they don't. Shows but to, I mean, that's just part of the block. They put a blindfold on them so they don't see. They need to put ear coverings over so they don't so hear. So they don't hear, yes. It's, it doesn't change anything about the selection process. It just makes sure that right. there's nothing they can pick up on. Right, that or have already picked out the traders when the show starts. Yeah, but that gets rid of some of the drama. Some I know, of the they like the anticipation. Yes. And, and it does build up the anticipation yeah. of them walking around and touching a shoulder. I yeah. like the I like the concept of that. Mm -hmm. They just need to cover up the ears. Well, we do like the show. Oh, so I love the show. I, I mean, just, we've watched it from three or four different countries now. Yeah, so we I mean, watched, I think, yeah. a new last week or uh, last month, I'm sorry, we had talked about watching the New Zealand version. Yeah. Yeah. So we do really like it. But the USA is very showy and it's very like. Like it's very, more fake. It's more, it's fake. Yeah, you can tell it's more put on and fake. Whereas the UK version is the realest version. It's well, really good. Even just like um, when they leave for the night in the UK, they're not staying in that castle. No, they're you see staying. them get in the so cars. So they get in the cars and they leave. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the US version, which is the exact same castle, by the way. Exact um, same castle, exact, exact same, same everything. The competitions, all exactly missions, all that sort of thing, exactly the same. Mm -hmm. um, they um, they go upstairs. Like they're pretending they go upstairs to go to sleep, which in reality, they're not sleeping and, in that and castle. And we don't know. Or we don't think We don't, don't know because the UK people had to leave. They, they leave. left. So it's like, okay, or the, because the US a version they're all celebrities celebrities maybe they do get to sleep there yeah. but the people mm -hmm. in the uk didn't get to sleep there that's so that'd be a good sure. thing to email that what's her face um, tamra 
If and they so, if they took questions, that would be a good thing to say. Yeah. Hey, where where do you stay during the? And thing? she might go over that. Uh, I listen to uh, Tamara Judge. She has a podcast, and so after um, she did a wrap up, she and Janelle. Janelle was actually on there. Janelle from Big Brother. Uh, Janelle was on there with her, and so they wrapped up the first four episodes. And so you need to watch the first four episodes, and then you can listen to this podcast. It's about an hour long. And then she said from now on, she's going to be uh, going over each episode after it's aired. And so I haven't listened to the next one yet, but I, I plan on it soon. So Anyway, uh, Traders, good show. Yes. <laughs> so uh, now we, uh, we have been watching. I don't know if I want to talk about that one yet. No. We have been making our way through Are You Being Served? Are You Being Served is a British show. It was on from 1972 to 1985. And it is about the misadventures of the staff of a retail floor of a major department store. So it's, for example, like like any, like uh, if you're in America, think about like Macy's. Macy's. So they work together on a floor of Macy's department store and it's about these people working together. Mm -hmm. And so that is what it's about. It's just not spread out as most Macy's are. It's right. like one regular department and then they're like stacked on top yes. of it. Yes, and it's a comedy show. It's a yeah, half it's, an it's hour. Um, and it's typical 70s comedy too. <laughs> Typical 70s British comedy. It's different British than American comedy. comedy. Yes. So, Kevin and I, I was making out the list, and I asked Kevin, I already had in my mind who my favorites were. And I asked Kevin, I said, who are your favorites? And it's funny because he has the same two favorite people on that show as me. So, uh, Mr. Humphreys is our favorite person on there. He is Hilarious. absolutely hysterical. Um, really cute guy. He's got a little gap between his teeth, but a really good sense of humor. He, um, he adds a lot to the show. And then our second favorite character was the same, Mrs. Uh, Slocum. Slocum. Yes. And she, she would remind you for Americans, she would remind you of like a, a Polly Holiday, like a, a flow. Like on Alice, Kiss My Grits, that hair, that's the hairstyle she has. No, the attitude's not the same. You no, know, the attitude's not the same. But she's really posh and uppity, and, and she has this fancy hairstyle. It's a different color every week. Every single episode. I mean, episode, every episode. Every episode, her hair changes colors. She might come in with purple blue, or blue. Blue, red, pink, it's been everything. One week, it was red, white, and blue. And I was like... That that looks good. Um, so we, but we are really enjoying that. We're mm -hmm. actually we just started season six. It has ten seasons, and we just started season six. But their seasons are so different than ours because over here in the seventies, they were you know they were twenty three or twenty six episodes in a season. Mm -hmm. This there only has five or eight. Yeah, or this se like this season short. has like five episodes, yeah. and that's it. They're usually very short. What is sad is every single person has died. Like in that was in that show. that was in that show, so because we look people up to see like okay what else have they been in? There might and be one that hadn't died yet, but I, I, all the people that we're we, watching now, yeah. currently on the show as of season six, they've all have all passed. Including away. the younger guy. What younger guy? The the one the the younger guy at the counter. I can, I can never Lucas. Oh Mr. Lucas. yeah, I think you Lizzie, said. I yeah. think you had looked every one. I think I've looked them all. Up. Yeah, yeah, you had looked them all up. He's the youngest guy. one of the bunch. I yeah, they I can't had, remember. Yeah, they've all passed yeah. away. I'm, I'm I'm almost positive you said they'd all passed away. But so that's kind of sad watching us knowing that they're all gone. Same now. thing with Love Boat. Yeah, the love boat. Yeah, all, all these celebrities <laughs> Pretty much all are gone. gone. Okay, then we watched a show that my dad recommended to me called Scott and Bailey. Scott and Bailey was on from 2011 to 2016. It is detectives Janet Scott and Rachel Bailey investigate murders with Manchester Police's major incident team. And... Um, I absolutely love the show. If you've ever That's watched good. the show Dr. Foster, which I've watched but Kevin hasn't, I'm going to have him watch it. The main uh, woman in Dr. Foster is in Scott and Bailey. And it's a murder has happened and they're trying to solve it. And like the whole season, it's not like CSI here because CSI is like episode after episode. 
this is like, or was this episode? The first, the first season was each one was different. Yes, the first. And then it season. got it slowly transitioned into the whole season. The was whole about season, one case. right? And yeah. so I really like that because then we watched a show called Unforgotten. Um, Unforgotten started in 2015, and it's still they've got it listed as it still could come back now. Yeah, it's not it's not canceled officially. Right, and it's about London detectives investigate crimes from the past. Um, unraveling secrets left buried for years. So they're investigating things that happened. It could have happened, a murder could have happened 40, like 50, years, 40 ago, 50 years ago. And they're trying to find out today who did it. And it's an excellent show. It is. Unforgotten, if you haven't watched it, it's, it's really good. It started out with Nicola Walker. Mm -hmm. She was in Last Tango in Halifax. She was in a show called River. She is like probably one of my favorite actresses, is Nicola Walker. And um, she's actually in Scott and Bailey. Uh, mm -hmm. She does make an appearance in yeah, Scott and all, Bailey. One whole season she's in. And it's funny because my dad said she is a heck of an actress. She really is. Yeah, Anything she's that she's in I like her too. Uh, is wonderful. So we watched that whole thing uh, as well. And so the last thing I wanted to talk about that we watched is a uh, Little Britain and a Little Britain USA. So they It's a quirky show that probably not a lot of people, especially in America, have to have seen. It when it was on here, it was on HBO. So um it the was, USA one. The USA, Little Britain USA was on HBO. Uh when it was originally shown in the UK, I don't know what channel it came on there. Mm -hmm. But what it is is it kind of reminds you of Kids in the Hall or so. It's like a skit comedy. I see. I've never. I don't know what, it, what Kids in the Hall. It's it's skit comedy. Okay. Like Saturday Night Live. Night Live. Yeah. Okay. So that that it's a little yeah. crude. That's exactly what it <laughs> is. Saturday Night Live. Is it? It is these skits, and it but it's is, not done live. It's recorded. Okay. Let me just say this, Matt Lucas. When Matt Lucas, so you've got the Great British Bake Off. So the Great British Bake Off, somebody left, I don't even remember who it was, and Matt Lucas joined the show. Mm -hmm. When Matt Lucas joined the show, he's a bald guy. With um, glasses. And with glasses. When he joined the show, we didn't know him. We, we didn't know wh who he was. Well, we'd seen him in Doctor Who. He was that in one was season it. of Doctor Who. Yes, we had only seen him in Doctor Who, but other than that, we're like, oh, the guy from Doctor Who. So right. we know him as the guy from Doctor Who. So we start watching Little Britain, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is Matt Lucas. And as we're, these skits are unfolding, and we're seeing all these different characters, and we're thinking, we're seeing like, oh my gosh, I just saw Matt Lucas's whole butt. And you're thinking, can you imagine what Paul Hollywood was thinking <laughs> when he joined the Great British Bake Off? Because you've got the Great British Bake Off, and it's very family-oriented, mm -hmm. and it's very... I mean, they make some little cheeky jokes and stuff like that, and, you know, here and there. But it's really a clean show for mm -hmm. the whole family. And I'm like, can you imagine what Paul Hollywood was thinking because you know he's seen an episode or two of Little Britain. When they brought Matt Lucas on and you're thinking, he's thinking, I've seen his whole butt. And he's played all of these characters. Hilarious, but though. It is gold. It is comedy. Can't be easily offended, though. Because it's it's got... It's highly offensive. Yeah. Uh, to, well, I mean... It, it could be highly offensive to anybody. Well, but they, like, they have a gay character. His name is Daffod. Daffod Thomas. He's the only gay in the he, village. Yeah, he... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he's the, the yeah the, the the village gay, and, and, and like, you find out the whole village is freaking gay. <laughs> yeah, everybody in this village is gay, but he wants to be, and he says that they're not the villagers aren't well uh, the villagers aren't welcoming the gays yeah. at all. Well, really, he's not welcome to any gays. Yeah, because he wants to be he wants to be known as the the village's only gay. He doesn't want to welcome anybody else that's gay in, so he runs them all mm -hmm. off. So he's the one that... Yeah, uh, he'll run somebody off, Some a gay person that comes into this bar. He'll run them off, and, and the bartender will go, hey, Why did you do that? You got rid of some bum fun. <laughs> you could have had some bum fun. Yeah. 
That's hilarious. Yeah, the outfits that he wears oh, are like skin the skin tight. The best outfits in the show. Oh, he wears little sailor outfits with this little hat on top of his head. I mean, he it's and this is not a thin man. No, he's a big. This man. like since the bake off. I mean, like three hundred. I bet you he's three hundred pounds. Oh yeah, matter. like since the bake off, he's lost a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. But on this show, like he was rotund. Yeah, he's round. And these outfits that they put him in, <laughs> they're all like latex. Stretchy out and short shorts, and he does not give <laughs> he doesn't care. anything what well, you see him. And then about. he's in that one character where he's bouncing on trampolines and falling out of the wheelchair. And oh, oh, okay. Well, so now you're talking about um, Andy Pipkin. Oh, hilarious! Is he your favorite? He's probably one of my favorites. Yeah, Andy Pipkin. Okay, he's my favorite, and then I have another one we can talk about in a minute. My second favorite. Andy Pipkin is my favorite character that he does. He is in a wheelchair. Well, Andy Pipkin uh, is the friend. And, no, his friend is Lou. Lou Todd. Okay. Yeah, Andy Pipkin is his name. Andrew or Andy Pipkin. And you think that he is uh, has no brains whatsoever. And you think... <laughs> he that he, sits there going, uh. Yeah, you think <laughs> he wears these glasses and he has this hair. And you think that, it, like, you think he's in this wheelchair and he cannot walk. And his friend, Lou, takes care of him. And he talks, he says, Andy. And he says, do you want this one or do you want this one? And then you get um, Andy that says... I want that. You do it. I want that one. That, that one. one. And he doesn't even look. He's that one. Yeah. And then he'll say, I don't like it. I don't like it. And he'll say, Andy, we can paint your room. We have red paint and we have blue paint. Which one do you want? That one. And he said, that one. And he'll say, but you, you pick red, but you don't like red. You don't like red paint. I want, are I want you, that one. Are, are you sure you want that one? And he'll paint the whole room. He's got, what did he have? One square left. He had one square he had and he one, said, here, I'll give you the roller. You can finish. He goes, I don't like it. I don't like it. So <laughs> I then want his, blue. So then his friend <laughs> has to paint the whole room it's over hilarious. again. And this is an ongoing oh, thing. Oh, it's ongoing. Every situation of these two. It's brilliant. Hilarious. It's absolute gold. Okay, so then he's my favorite character. And, and then he says something like, um, um, he wants to go to Spain. He says, but I thought you said Spain was the blah, 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 blah. He goes through this all long thing. And About it's like, why he doesn't like Spain. It's like Spain. there's no way Andy's saying all that. Yeah, Andy never <laughs> said that because Andy doesn't talk. <laughs> doesn't Andy talk. doesn't say anything. Anyway, it's quite funny. It's very funny. You'll be surprised the first time the skit. You'll be surprised what You happens. can look a lot of these up on YouTube. Oh, yeah, they have little snippets. You of have to look them up. Do, okay, You now I'm, I'm warning you, you cannot get offended if you watch this. Look up Little Britain Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell, it's <laughs> absolute gold. <laughs> it Rosie O'Donnell makes an appearance on Little Britain USA. Mm -hmm. They have the full skit on YouTube. You can watch it. You can thank me. Oh, later. I'd say if that you did um, Little Britain Andy. Andy Pipkin. And, and you'd find all the sketches for that. They're absolutely hilarious. Yes, you have to watch them. It's okay. a mess. Okay, my second favorite character is, uh, uh, let me see, Marjorie Dawes. Marjorie Dawes is the group leader oh. of Fat Fighters. She is... Oh, you're a little fat. Fatty, fat, fat, fat. <laughs> she, listen, they... Um, you would not believe that Matt Lucas plays this woman. No, it looks like, like an actual woman. It looks, yes, she, it, he looks like a real woman. The hair, the face, everything. It's like, I've seen women that look just mm -hmm. like this. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, if you saw him walking down the street and dressed up like that, you wouldn't think anything about it. But she, um, it says, uh, she often mimics Fat Fighter member, members in both racist and fattest ways. It's very Despite offensive. herself being overweight. So oh, yeah. she's overweight herself, but yet she's making fun of these fat people. And she is racist. There is oh. a, listen, it's, it's, it's funny. It's, it's, it's comedy. You have to be, you have to be. It's, it's, the, it's that kind of offensive comedy. Yes. That, that's that's what it is. That it's still funny. You just have to watch it because the, the way we're talking about racist is there is an Indian woman that goes to Fat Fighter. She is a member. And so every time this Indian woman says something, you can completely understand every word she yeah, says. Yeah, fish and chips. 
Fish and chips. Fish and chips. What's, chip. what's your what's your uh, trigger food? Fish and chips. And you'll get and, and she'll, she'll say, go, huh? 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 What'd you say? Say again. Huh? Huh? Say again. Fish and, and, then and she'll chips. Say, say again. No, fish don't and chips. don't understand. And then she'll go on to someone else. So you or, can. Or, She'll go, oh, must be one of those local dishes and go on. It's like, so she's you, saying fish and chips. So you can completely understand everything the woman yeah. is saying, but yet they're they're making it out to be. It's like, okay, so then who is another one of your favorite? That you, one's good. Carol um, Beer. That one's okay. That one drives me nuts. Carol Beer is this receptionist. This is one is not played by Matt Lucas. This is, there's two main people that do the um the, they're the main skit people right and it's another guy that plays this carol beer and she um she's a receptionist and people will come up to her and ask her questions and she'll Rude. be typing in a, into the com computer and they'll be like i want to go on this trip and we want to go on this trip to spain and we need to leave on tuesday and she'll type this stuff in and she'll say Computer said no. Computer says no. <laughs> and it, that's funny. Um, then you have Anne, which I, I cannot stand this woman. She <laughs> She's a patient in a psychiatric hospital. <laughs> I cannot stand that one. Then you've got Mav Mavis Bubbles. Bubbles, Bubbles Devere. Call me Bubbles. Everyone does. If you've ever, if you look up any skits. <laughs> I don't even know if they show those on YouTube. I don't know if they show them on YouTube or not. Okay. It's, it's a full body suit. I have never seen a body <laughs> suit that looked so realistic. If you type in Little Britain Bubbles, it's Matt Lucas. If you do a general Google search, you might see some pictures, but you're not going to... I don't think YouTube would have those. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's Matt Lucas wearing a body suit, and it is a full body suit of a naked overweight woman it's how i looked naked before oh, i lost yeah. weight you were never that big. and it is it it's, was never that big it's like this is the best body suit i've ever it's very seen. good body suit. i mean it is so realistic with little freckles and you this it's all real it's all real it's love so her nice. um people in the uk are gonna know who all these people are the people over here are gonna be like <laughs> uh, Kenny Craig, he's the one that says, uh, look into my eyes, look into oh, my eyes, hypnotist. not the side of my eyes, look into my eyes, and he's... You're under. You're under, yeah, he's a hypnotist, um, and then Vicki Pollard is probably what he's known best for. I know, but I don't like that one as much. Vicki Pollard is, she's supposed to, it's Matt Lucas, and he's playing this teenage girl. And, and that probably is the most well-known character on there, but that was one of my least favorite characters, honestly. She's like... Yeah, but no. They'll ask her a question like, "Did you, did you yeah, but, steal no, the but, cigarettes?" Yeah, but no, but no, but but yeah, but no. And then she'll go into this whole thing about how it's everybody else is doing boyfriends and girlfriends and, and hot shagging such such and such and the whatever. You know it has what? nothing to do with anything. Those are the only ones I wrote down. There are so many other characters. Oh. The one I didn't write down that would be disturbing to people. Bitty. Oh, I'm just disgusting. I want Bitty. And that if you all gross. watch the show, then you know what you know Bitty, what Bitty is. You know what Bitty is, and it is freaking it's disturbing. disturbing. <laughs> Bitty. It's disturbing. Uh huh. Um, there are so many that I didn't write down. Oh yeah. The, the, man the that, guy in Ireland, or is he Sc Ireland or Scottish? I can't remember. One of the two. He's the castle that's always raining. Like yes. It's yes. Him. The one who goes. The, the guy who goes in and he's always asking for. I want a treasure. A the game. man, Mr. Man. Um, That's his Mr. Man. Is what he's like calling. Yeah. Um, there are so many care. Oh, and I didn't write down. I think stuff. I didn't write down the one about um, the woman who's the the the. She wants. To, it's a transvestite. I love her. Oh, oh, the uh, lady. The ladies. And, or, uh, yeah, I thought I wrote that down. It's a guy that dresses up like a woman and she wants to be known I'm as a I'm a lady. Woman. I do lady things. Yeah. And, but everybody goes, so what do you want, um, gentlemen or whatever? And, and she'll go, but I'm a lady. I like lady things. Yeah, and it's 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 a completely it's obvious, it's a transvestite, but it's everybody knows that it's this man. And so she's trying to convince everybody that she's a lady. And no one, you'll notice, nobody uh, talks to her that way. Everybody says, 
Oh, or sir, what can I do for you? Or hey, buddy, or whatever they call it. And you gotta remember, this has been this was in the 2000s. I don't know when it was. It was made. I think it was early 2000s. So so things have changed a little bit since then. But you things know. have changed. But you just like we said, you have to. You have didn't a sense mention of humor. the prime minister. Oh, the pro and and his his assistant, which I can't remember his name right off the top of my head, but. There are so many. <laughs> There's so many good skits. Yes, there. there are so many good skits. It's very well known in the UK. You need to look it up. You need to look it up on YouTube because I, I if if you just the guy that goes in for the the interviews and he's little. Yeah, and he's little. Yes, and and evidently he's an actor over there that's well known actor, but they they but they he's portray not him as like all. this little bitty guy. He's like literally this tall. <laughs> If I could have you look up the one thing, don't have your kids in the room. No. You cannot have your kids in the room. The one with Rosie O'Donnell on it, it's really crude. That, it's very crude. Any, that and any of, any, the, of uh, any of the Andy Pipkin ones. Any of them. Any of well, them. Well, that's true. Just a little Brit. Any you of them Brit you're going general. to be offended by. Just know that. You're going to be offended by it. But I think it. it we both absolutely think it's it's just comedy. They're making fun of themselves. It's gold. Be, because no. uh, because he's gay. He's gay. And Matt I'm Lucas. pretty sure the, 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 guy, the other guy that does it, I'm pretty sure he's gay if too. he's not gay, you would... Think you would think he was. By his actions, he <laughs> was. plays yeah. really well. Yeah, so you not. have to know this. You have to know Matt Lucas is not making fun of gay people because he is gay. And we would never do that. We we uh, have highly respect uh, LGBTQ, the community, all that. You have to know that. But we also know that you have to have a sense of humor about everything. And I have a sense of humor about myself. Kevin has a sense of humor about himself. And you just have to laugh at it. You know, you have to you have to find the humor in it. And, and, and over Britain, they tend to do that anyway. They can it's get away. It's a different away. kind of sense of humor than we have here. Yes. And so I think they can get away with it a little bit more than we can. And uh, so that, you know, that's what comedy is all about uh -huh. is you, you know, you have to be able to express yourself or you're gonna, you're really gonna lose a lot of these really good comedians if you're not, if you're afraid of saying anything. So all the so, people on here are going to now go on YouTube and look up Little Britain. Rosie watch, O'Donnell, please. And, and watch skits. You're going to go in the rabbit hole watching 100 Little Britain skits. <laughs> Andy Pipkin, Rosie O'Donnell, Little Britain. And yes. whatever that and fat let fighters. Me know. And fat fighters. Yeah, you need to do fat fighters. And let me know what you come up with. Let me know what you watched because we both want to hear. Oh. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. The USA one wasn't as good as the British one was. It was good, but it wasn't as good. Right. And we're still watching. We still have a couple of episodes of the USA one left. But Rosie O'Donnell was in like probably the first, one, the, the first, or, first second or second one. Yeah. yeah. And it's probably been one of the funniest ones. The US um, one is the one where they went the opposite way of the bodysuits. Yes. Yes. Um, the, <laughs> yes. They did. <laughs> Big men, they muscular have these men. huge. <laughs> instead of having this woman in this in this big fat suit, uh, or Matt Lucas in this big fat suit, they went. They have these great big bodybuilders, but they're completely naked. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. You'll know. <laughs> yeah, you'll know when you watch it. Uh, but anyway, that's what we have been busy watching uh, uh, for uh, the month of January. So if you have any recommendations, uh, as you can tell, we're pretty much up for anything. Well, we, we like to watch. We have really good uh, senses of humor, mm -hmm. and we don't get offended easily. And so we, we like watching anything. The only thing I don't really like is like gross no like horror movies. No, like, like we got kind of tired of American Horror Story. Well, yeah, we stuff, quit watching know? that because only because just... it just got kind of stupid, honestly. Right, and uh, and kind of gross to be gross. That's about the only thing we don't really like. Yeah, but it, comedy stuff, we have oh, pretty a much any comedy. really good sense of humor about everything. We don't let anything offend us. So, so. Like I said, leave your comments below, leave your recommendations below, and we will do the same thing, go over what we're watching and everything at the end of February. 